The vision for the Wellness Committee for Fulton County is healthy workforce, healthy workplace. We're going to say that throughout the day. We want you to remember that. Healthy workforce, healthy workplace, okay? We have um, fresh fruits and juices. We have the Atlanta Farmer's Market that will give you fruits and vegetables, fresh fruits and vegetables. We have sugar-free ice cream, water, um, water stations throughout. We have the Kids' Corner. We have um, sushi and stir-fry. We're going to have um, Jason Sellies with lots of salads and fruits and so forth. So please go around, see the vendors, get information. And once again, we hope you have a ball here today. And we thank you all for coming. Now I'm going to introduce Lisa Carter. She's the assistant to the county manager with Fulton County. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Can I get a shout out from Fulton County? Let me get a shout out from all the volunteers, everyone in arms. Let me hear what you got. Now let me hear it again. Today I just want to begin to open up today with a few remarks from the county manager's office. First, I'd like to say thank you to Blue Cross Blue Shield who has made this e event possible. They are the major sponsor of this event and I'd like to say thank you to Lisa Harris. Who, let's give a shout out to Lisa. Lisa has been working diligently for the last three months um, with the committee trying to round everybody up, trying to work with us through all of our busy schedules and her busy schedule, and look at what she has done. Fulton County is very, very oh, interested okay. in um, having a workplace that is healthy, that is fun, and that is fit. Not only will it add to the productivity of and add to the benefit of us getting out services, but it will also add to our lives. The county manager, who is 100% um, behind this effort, has asked that we partnership with Blue Cross Blue Shield in order to do a wellness initiative throughout the county. Yeah, today we're celebrating uh, family and celebrating fitness. We're taking an opportunity to come together as an organization and talk about healthy behaviors and we're doing that with our families because each of us recognize the most important thing is our health and our family. We, the committee, has worked very, very diligently for the last three months to try to put together this event, not only for the employees, the active employees, but for their family as well as the retirees. We want to let people know that we're serious about health and wellness. So excited about today. Um, this initiative uh, is our kickoff to uh, the Fulton County Wellness Committee 2010-2011 uh, um, initiatives. Our focus is healthy eating. Um, living a life that is healthy, being able to be informed and getting educated. We really want to encourage our Fulton County employees to take charge of their health. We want to make sure that Fulton County employees have the tools, education, and resources in order to live healthy, happy lives. If you're already healthy, we want you to stay healthy. If you have some type of chronic condition, we want to move you to a more state of wellness. We hope that giving you tools and, and education and resources on the work site where you can exercise, eat more nutritious meals, have support systems, for example, with our smoking cessation program, and just be aware of the prevention measures that you should take at what stages in your life to make sure that you stay on top of your health and you and also, we want you to have healthy habits for life. That's our premise. Healthy workplace, healthy workforce. We're here to talk to you about your teeth. Because we need to protect our teeth as well as our whole body. You're here for a wellness day. So, what are the good things to do for your teeth? You need to brush correctly. How many times should you be brushing? Two. Two. Very good. At least two times a day. And you should be flossing at least once a day. And you should also maybe start rinsing with an antibacterial mouthwash, like Listerine, to rinse out after you brush those germs and bacteria out of your mouth. Okay, so that's what you normally do. What happens when you eat food, the bacteria in your mouth also eats that food. And it produces acid in your mouth which then causes your teeth to demineralize and starts to cause cavities. 
The bacteria in your mouth really like sugar. So when you eat a lot of sugar, the pH level and the acidity level in your mouth drops and it's a perfect environment for cavities. If you're not brushing and flossing correctly, you're not keeping your mouth clean and you're keeping those bacteria in your mouth. Okay, so we want to brush, floss, and rinse really well. So please brush and floss and see your dentist twice a year. We are also here to talk about health and wellness, which is something else we do, because we believe that a productive workforce is a healthy workforce. So we talk about how do you balance your meal, how do you balance your sugar, your fat, and the salt in your diet to lead to a healthy heart. We do the nutrition re-education classes for Reach for Wellness. We go into the community and teach people how to cook healthy vegetables and fruits and shakes greens because normally uh, we're used to cooking greens for example with uh, ham hocks and maybe some fat back and we go in the community bring our skillet and our greens and everything just like you see the set up here at the park and show people how to prepare greens with onions and garlic and nutritional yeast. We also introduce people to a different variety of ingredients such as liquid aminos or um, tamari agave, natural sugars, sea salt, as opposed to some of the items that we used to cook in the freezer that cause hypertension and cholesterol levels to rise that can lead to obesity and, and heart problems. Whole Foods Market on Ponce de Leon, and we've come down here today for the Fulton County event to give fresh juice to the employees. And we're just juicing these fresh juices that have lots of uh, enzymes. It's better, it's unpasteurized juice. Better for people, gives you energy, has lots of vitamins in it, B vitamins, C vitamins, um, antioxidants in it for people. A lot of people don't know this, but if you get juice that's bottled, it doesn't have the active enzymes in the juice that make them effective. They have health benefits still, but fresh juicing is always the way to go. Everybody for coming out today. This is truly an amazing event for the first time. I'm proud to say, you know, as far as being on the wellness committee, that I think we did an excellent job yeah. for our very first time. With this magnitude, as big as this um, wellness day event was, I think we did it. For yeah. three, months, three months, I think we did an excellent job. This was a great event. It turned out well. We had lots of participation and uh, we think it went well. So thank you all for coming. That's what Ellie was saying. Really pissed at you so much. I think it was fighting. So you do it right here.